Hi, this is Dan Miller with Pro-Life Wisconsin, and this is your Pro-Life Minute. If you didn't already know that I'm Catholic, uh, bad on me, but I'm telling you now, I'm Catholic, unapologetically Catholic. Something I wanted to talk to you about today was the seamless garment theory. It's making a comeback in Catholic parishes, unfortunately. Uh, I was hoping that it would die with Cardinal Joseph L. Bernardine, God rest his soul, but unfortunately it did not. What is it, this seamless garment theory? It was created by Cardinal Joseph L. Bernardine from the Chicago Archdiocese in 1982. In a nutshell, the seamless garment theory states that all sins are equal in the eyes of God, and beyond that hogwash, it tells pro-lifers, in essence, that if you aren't a pacifist who favors absolutely unlimited welfare programs, open borders, and police using only rubber bullets, you cannot oppose abortion. You cannot oppose abortion. Conversely, in my opinion, it gives political cover for mushy Catholics who aren't necessarily pro-life when they vote for pro-abortion political candidates. That's the ugliness of the seamless garment theory. It creates an illusion that they are pro-life when in fact they are not in any shape or form. Then we hear them spout on that their intellectual rigorousness doesn't allow them to be a single issue voter, such as voting for a pro-life candidate, which is complete tripe. The Catholic Church is very careful about not endorsing political candidates, especially in the Milwaukee area, uh, a democratic hotbed. But if you're paying attention, you'll see that Democrats are doing rallies at various Christian denominational churches within this city. I've been at a few just to see if it was for real. Mayor Barrett, a Catholic with a small C, is a frequent offender. So much for the 501c3s being educational only in their nature. Some of these churches are virtual hotbeds for community organizing. And for guess who? The Democratic Party. So if your parish or church tells you that you can, in good conscience, vote for a pro-abortion candidate because of the seamless garment theory or something of the same ilk, run, run, and never look back. God bless you and your families.